And so stay with matters. In the Nigeria Professional Football League, 20 clubs are expected to participate in the new season of the league uh, later this afternoon in Abuja. Be, they will be presented with a takeoff grant of around 10 million naira each ahead of the kickoff this weekend. The ceremony, which is being organized by the Interim Management Committee, the IMC, headed by Honorable Gwenga and Legmele, uh, says it is uh, using the grant as a means to support the clubs ahead of the new season. The 20 clubs have been split into two groups of 10 in an abridged format, which has been introduced to align with CAF regulations and the calendar. Earlier, Dejo Motoibo, Afro Sports Director of News, asked uh, journalist Fisayo Dairo, who is a strong follower of the Nigerian League, on the significance and expectations ahead of the new season. Okay, Fisayo Dairo, thank you for joining us. Um, now, the league is about to start. We hear there is an event in Abuja today. Um, I want to ask you, is every stakeholder on board? You know, we heard that there was a dispute, a bridge format. Hmm. IMC wanted a bridge format. The clubs, a lot of them didn't want that. They wanted a full league. Is everybody on board now for this a bridge format? Well, as of today, Thursday, the fifth day of January, I do not think 100% everyone is on board. But I'm very confident that by the time the meeting scheduled for today um, is held uh, between the club owners, the, the NFF, and the Referees Association, I think everyone will be on board. Yeah, it has never been, uh, I've never been in doubt that they will, they will eventually come on board. Since the league body has been able to stamp their foot on the ground that we are doing a bridge and nothing will change that, I'm sure they will have their way, but they, they, are, they, are, they were going to meet some resistance from the club owners. So as of now that we are talking, not yet, but by the end of today, I expect that, yes, everybody will be on board. Okay. Um, so what is the significance of this event holding in Abuja later today, of um, the money being donated, well, not donated, being granted to the clubs? We had 10 million naira per club. What is the significance of this going forward? Yeah, the, the significance is that, um, you know, for the league to start, this has to be conveyed. Look at your first question. You said, is everyone on board? No, everybody was not on board before this meeting. So this meeting will iron out the little remaining issues. And I'm issues about takeoff grants, all the issues about referees and this, they will all be ironed out. And because I, I am still not comfortable. I still don't think 100% that the league will start on Sunday because a lot of teams should be traveling by today or tomorrow. They have not left their bases. So we might have three days postponement, but everything will be ironed out in today's meeting. After today's meeting, we will know when this league will start. We, the, all, everything that needs to be done in terms of takeoff grants, in terms of uh, what we will get what at the end of the year, then we, everything we will get to know at the end of the day. What challenges um, would you say the IMC will face going forward, even if all this is ironed out, like you say? What challenges are in store for them? Well, I honestly don't see any more challenges after this one, because um, the main challenge is the one to get the season started. This has happened years back, even with the LMC. So it, 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 it is not... It, it, it's not a new thing, honestly, because um, clubs will always want to dilly-dally. They will always want things go their way. But when, once the season starts, everything is sorted. So I don't expect any more challenge for the IMC I can see that after a, this is sorted. There's a young woman trying to get your attention there. So finally, before I let you attend to her, um, what, what should fans expect this season? Fans of the NPFL, what should they expect? Well, I, I think that they should expect... A, a, a good season in terms of the footballing aspect. Um, a lot of players have been yearning to get going. We expect to see more talents emerge from many of these clubs. It's going to be an abridged league. And the last time we had an abridged league was 2019. And for me, I think it was one of the best leagues we've had in recent years. You know, everyone is conscious of the fact that any slip up, you are doomed. So everyone brings the best to the table every match day. So they are going to see the best of football. Uh, a lot of stars will emerge because we've seen many players leave the league over the past couple of months. We, we expect to see new, new ones to also make a name for themselves in the league. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Fisayo. And my regards to your little daughter over there. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me once again.
beside Aro there speaking about the expectations ahead of the new season of the Nigeria Professional Football League.